Spider-Ham is here and going right into Series 4 at 3,000 tokens, it represents a really interesting opportunity. It's the first card we have as a new release that's going to basically be half the cost that it traditionally used to be, so naturally there's a lot of interest in Spider-Ham. I gotta tell you, we've got ourselves a full silver run that'll be coming up shortly, but let's talk about the card itself. Now, my experience with the card, which is obviously very limited, I just finished streaming, we had a lot of fun streaming it, but like, I've it's the first day. So, you know, um, you know, there's going to be some variations with uh, opinions and stuff like that. I tend to think that it's pretty good at uh, 6,000 tokens. It would have felt not great um, at 6,000 tokens. It would have been like an OK card. Fine, but not worth 6K, like not when you can get Thanos or whatever. Right. Um, for 3,000, though, it seems much more reasonable. And I think that they made a really good choice in identifying that this was a good Series 4 candidate. Um, it does feel like a fair purchase at 3,000 uh, tokens. It does have a pretty big impact on the game because, like, when you have it and, like, you're playing a against a destroy list and you know they have death, you just basically just knock death out. Like, it's just death becomes useless. It becomes a, an, an 8 12 that they can just basically never play or whatever. And I think that's pretty significant. Um, uh, conversely, if you they're playing a move deck and you're waiting for them to draw Heimdall, you can hold it for turn five and play it in conjunction with something like a wave. So I think there's a lot of versatility with the deck, and I think it really performs well in Conquest. Like, I played it in Conquest Spider Ham, and I actually felt like it was viable. Like, it felt like a very good card to have in the list. Like, it, it kind of carried its weight, and it really impressed me from that perspective. It always felt playable, it always felt relevant, and I think that's important to note. And uh, I'll show you the deck I was playing first. I call it Green Hawks and Ham. This is Obviously, this is like a day one deck that like is not refined yet, so make some changes. Um, basically, what we're doing here is we're running a uh, Darkhawk style deck with the disruption of Korg, Rockslide, and with the use of Zabu. The key thing here on turn five is you want to play your um, your wave into Spider Ham as your turn five combination if you can basically make that happen. That's why we don't run a five itself. The scouting from White Queen is useful, but White Queen in my testing was actually a bit of an underperformer. So if there's another card, like another four drop you want to put in instead of White Queen, even like a Shang-Chi, honestly, uh, could be a good call. Uh, Mystique doesn't feel great with Iron Lad, but if you don't have Iron Lad, you can maybe take Iron Lad out, put Mystique in. Uh, that's actually probably a good call. So if you're looking to make a substitution here, and I have this organized in some very weird way but uh you can add mystique in and i think mystique is going to be a good call for your iron lad replacement because it gives you the opportunity to have zabu out and then on turn six you can play darkhawk in conjunction with the actual mystique itself so anyways enjoy these gameplay highs so recorded live on twitch tv i'd love if you join us on twitch um i'll leave a, uh, a link in the description and in the comments section down below and again uh i look forward to hearing your opinions on spider ham I came away impressed from my first initial impressions and uh, you know, new cards don't always leave those positive impressions. So I'm excited to play more spider ham in the future. So keep an eye on the channel for some more content. We're taking green hawks and ham into the silver tier. We got ourselves a spider ham. We got a disrupt style deck. We're going to be taking some chances here. Let's see what we can do. We're skipping out on a five cost. Uh, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to go with the wave spider ham on turn five. This feels okay. We can just cork here. All right. So it's a move list. Well, sp that's convenient for them. Very convenient for them. What we're going to do here is we're going to hit them with the, uh, so Ghost Spider, pretty good. So this, uh, Human Torch is going to be pretty big. I respect the fact that they're playing a move list. Try to restrict their ability to play here. Play the wave. They have four in hand. Two come down. So it's a Widow's Bite and Storm. We know he can move left very effectively. We play Odin. This is going to prevent him from drawing because it's going to force the Widow's Bite to be a four-cost card. So he has two. Now he has three in his hand, and, and they're all four-cost. So he's not going to draw on turn six. That's why this combo is so devastating. Zabu allows... Ironically, Zabu allows us to play two... Nah, we don't want that. Oh, man. But if we draw into, like, Darkhawk, it's pretty huge. The fact that this Human Torch can move as an 8 is huge for, for them. 
I think we play White Queen. They're playing like they have Heimdall. Oh, I didn't think that through. Yeah, we walked there. Just fine. Oh, it's unfortunate we didn't get the value there. We go for the Iron Lad play here. Paging Dr. Doom, I know, eh? Dr. Doom would be great here. I guess you're right. Move has had a lot of benefits over this last month, eh? This month has definitely helped move out a lot. Okay, that's good. I got the piggy. This gamer loves to emote, eh? I think we're probably gonna play Darkhawk mid anyway. Okay. It's a little overkill. So we just he just loses basically. What does it mean to play like a Chad? The people want to know. I'm not sure who Chad is. Did we find a broken Spider Ham deck yet? I don't know. I'm just, I just, so my goal is not to discover like the best Spider Ham deck right off the bat. It's to experiment with the card and determine if it, if it does its job, if it's fun. You know, that's kind of the main goal. This guy is getting absolutely blessed locations. Chad's play Delac. That's a hot take. Oh my god. The, the, there's two move locations here. You've got to be kidding me. How is it possible there's so many move locations right now? I think we hit him right now. He has seven in his hand. Heimdall's gone. Wind Chooses not to storm Nexus. Don't care about this. Because now we can rock slide Odin. Korg ends up there as well. I think that's a huge misplay on their part. Korg's gonna come in here. It's Darkhawk Odin, and this, this location's massive. This guy is absolutely inebriated. I'm not sure what his plan is, or if he has a plan. It's not a bot. <laughs> it's definitely not a bot. I think this guy is just hammed. He's not revealed a Shang-Chi or the potential for a Shang-Chi. So that was his big play. That is not enough at all. Now with Odin coming down. Yeah, he's gone. Remember, this game started with him giving me a couple thumbs up, by the way. We ain't gonna BM. We ain't gonna BM back. We don't play those games. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Krakoa broke him.
Oh my gosh, what's with all these move locations? He doesn't really take advantage of wave, does I think we actually do wave here. Because realistically, it might actually shut down a combo on turn four. I think we play Iron Lad. Or we can just play Odin. I think it has to be Iron Lad left. It's a big boy. There it is. There it is. It's a big hit. Hope he goes right. So now we just 1v1 mid. Well, this isn't good. He definitely drew Heimdall, right? He leaves. He leaves. Okay. Things aren't going so well for our friend. High stakes, this is it. Do we roll the spider ham right off the bat here or what? Hit a vulture, hit a juggernaut. No, I think we do play the Iceman. Vormir, okay. Spider, spider ham into Vormir's fine. Yeah, ham over Vormir's fine. We throw the bacon onto Vormir. Hits the Heimdall. It's not bad. Takes a piece out of his arsenal. We need Zabu. We need something. Oh my gosh. Disaster. Just bad. Okay, we're going to want the Korg separate from the Iceman. It's Vulture. Okay. Should really restrict it, but the problem is this uh, Starlight Citadel makes things risky. But we have to take the 50-50 chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange is going to pay the price here. Going to pay the price in Vormir. We need... Okay, good. It went mid. Okay, good. We're okay. We're okay. Again, we're going to restrict their ability to play here. Now, Vulture is going to win mid, unfortunately, by one. That's actually really problematic for us. No pig? Unnecessary. This could be a throw. Oh, okay. I respect it. Good play. Very good play. Here comes the thumbs up. Oh, no thumbs up. You need confetti after this win? Hey, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll go for confetti if we can. Hey, look, it's Zabu. You haven't seen Zabu in a while. Sewer system and a Necrotia? Are we serious right now? Can't run the risk of playing Zabu into an unrevealed location. That's a risk we can't take. Could Black Widow Oscorp? But I think instead what we'll do is we'll play Iron Lad mid. Yeah, we're experimenting with White Queen. The idea of having White Queen and determining whether or not Spider Ham's worth it on turn five. So actually, we just played the White Queen here. So they have Doctor Strange as their top card. So they have nothing right now. Anytime we have Zabu down, we're at an advantage. We just got to take advantage of it. The White Queen here is not a great play. 
Oh, they drew Heimdall, I guess. So now we know if we draw Spider Ham, we want to play it right now. So we understand that they're playing. They're they're going to try and Heimdall left. If he plays a big card here, he theoretically could win. He just gave up apparently. He didn't want to play it through. Just couldn't handle it. Decided after seven rounds he wasn't even going to see it through. We move on to battle number two. Spider Man, Spider Ham, I should say, so far representing a fearsome card in the arsenal of locking down opponents' turn six plays. New York, naturally, it's going to be a move list. Just upset me. We're going to be playing Corgan to mid. Playing into New York is somewhat disadvantageous. Actually, incredibly disadvantageous, honestly. Animes. Would love to see some uh, Zabu action on turn two, but apparently we're not that lucky. This is probably uh, Doom. Could actually turn five Zabu. If we pull something like a Spider Ham, would it be perfect right now? Spider Ham would be perfect. All right, <clears throat> playing a Sandman ramp list. <clears throat> we can deal with that, honestly. Spider Ham is going to be really useful. Plays the Electro down now. Seems very body. Play Dark Hawk and win. Just don't even move anything. Moving the Sunspot was a sensual play. I'll give him credit. But sometimes the right answer is to do nothing. Just do nothing. I love, I love with Vision, not moving. I love with New York, not moving. Just, just not using the location. Get in their head a little bit, you know? Four cubes right off the bat. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. We do know they're playing a uh, Sandman base list, so they revealed their Sandman. They're playing Sandman ramp. I respect that they're playing Ebony Maw here. Gotta respect the Ebony Maw Sandman ramp. So we have our Wave Doom Odin, which is the combination we want to play. Spider Ham on curve is super valuable here. And it doesn't look like we're going to get it. Another Annie Maze. The problem is Wave is a little beneficial to them, isn't it? Wave gives them an opportunity to play down their cards. Okay, good move placement. Okay, now we have Ant Maze set up for us. Doctor Doom, turn five. We have basically the run of the mill. We can do whatever the hell we want. It's D, D okay, it's DD. I respect it. I respect it. Sandman list with DD is pretty good. It also prevents us from playing the dark, uh, the Black Widow. In this case, I lean towards Iron Lad to potentially hit Dark Hawk. Could also hit Spider Ham, which is great. So it's a 50 50 on a great lad here. Perfect. Get out of here, Zola. That's huge. Huge for us. And now we Odin. It's pretty solid here. Plays their own Doom. Not respecting my Odin. 
An interesting choice. I felt like that win for me was so obvious that snapping would have, like, forced him to retreat. Okay, we have Wave. Okay, playing Widow's Bite into the Shuri's Lab is such a troll on yourself. I almost want to play Lad here. I don't love this, but we can win Luke's Bar. High Temple play with the Spider Woman, but like, honestly, that Widow's Bite, very awkward for them. There's Dark Hawk. We're also almost to the point where we could have possibly even played White Queen into Luke's bar, but Iron Lad into Spider Ham again. Core great. Okay, Ice Man, not the best. I think DD's an overcommittal there. This should be enough to win. Would have loved to have spider hand whatever they're holding in their hand here. Now they're gonna have a big play. I'm I'm worried of Magneto. I wonder if this is just a Doctor Doom. Yikes. Our man is extremely high. They went for it, though. Victory. They went for it, though. I respect it. We get that three-round victory. We get a Spider Ham here. We get to upgrade our Spider Ham. And my friends, we get ourselves a golden ticket. Green Hawks and Ham taking us to victory. Now, the deck is still being worked on. I still think there's a lot of work to do, but I'll take that golden ticket all day long. Spider Ham's been good. I think Spider Ham's pretty cool. I think it's good. Um, it really punishes these greedy lists. And I like the idea of, like, especially in Conquest, knowing, like, okay, are they playing death? Then we got to play that Spider Ham out early or play it on turn five to disrupt their Heimdall or whatever it is. I think there's some strategic placement with it, but I do think it works really well with Wave. So naturally, this Greenhawks and Ham list, I'm going to refine it a little bit. But I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And Iron Lad was a pretty decent performer as well. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next Marvel Snap video.